this is a rocket I made recently so I need to make some more changes so you can see it's uh, longer and larger okay so I need to change the color of the nose cone I'm gonna give green color and green okay or just stripe no I need just torsion okay before that let me give Audio, yes, and okay. I just selected a round and let me go to insulation. Where is insulation? Yes, insulation. Now I can give the metallic color to the green smoothness 100, metallic 100, and yes, looks good. I'm gonna give the color for the rest of the places too. Yeah, I finished giving coloring I need to uh, like uh, change something in the parachute so I'm gonna do that now so let me open the cargo bay the other cargo bay too okay the parachutes okay take a panel max temperature I think not yes and max temperature yes it's good I think I have to reduce explosiveness so it don't explode very quickly for the parachute too. And some coloring. Let me choose white and turn to metallic so it becomes silver color. Silver. I think I can't give the whole place silver. I'm going to give some multicolor, so only the, those places. Okay, 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 okay. The whole thing I'm going to give um, orange color. Because, like, it will look good in Mars when it's on Mars. Let me change that to blue color because it looks good. Blue. Mm, yeah, now it looks good. It's blue, uh, green, and black, and orange combination, and silver. Okay, now I need to work with the um, uh, activation groups. So the fourth activation group is docking port. So let me type that. And uh, what is the Okay, let me add some RCS engines so that it will be easy for me to control while I'm undocking the uh, craft from from the rocket. And even I'm going to add it in a, a activation group. Okay, let me start the simulation. Okay, start the first stage. Ignition lift off. Let me speed it up and turn off the landing gear. And yes, I need to reduce to 60 or 65. 
okay okay it's turning it's turning it's turning ah. let me keep it in 70 75 okay so let me wait until it reaches above 70 or 80 Okay, that's enough that's enough let me uh, uh, slow down fast simulation and then let me prepare for an auto burn so burn is going to be 100 and um, set it in orbit yes and uh, small corrections let me make it straight um, I think it's perfect now it's perfect. Let me okay on pause I need it and wait for a few minutes until it happens until it does its thing. Okay, it's going to finish. Yes, it finished. Now, let me separate the stage. Slow it down, separate the stage. And give a small press over there so that it uh, doesn't join together. Now, ta now target take control of the um, first stage. And wait until it, uh, it in a safe distance okay now let me set it in an uh, semi orbit so it splashes down on earth back onto earth it's going to finish going to finish going to finish finished let me speed it up okay now speed up the simulation okay I'm waiting waiting for it okay now back to our main rocket let's set it in a, uh, outer orbit Okay, that's perfect. Fine. So now it's going to auto burn it. Let me wait. Okay, it's going to finish going to finish finished okay now let's uh, select target Silero which is Mars and the Juno system okay now in orbit I'm pretty sure it's going to take a while until we get a proper orbit even though if I set it in a proper orbit it's the autobahn is surely going to um, change everything why is it not happening I just set it in autobahn why is it not warping ok ok whatever let me try that again the same place Okay, I'll meet you guys after I, I am in a perfect orbit around Mars. Okay, now we are in an orbit around Mars. Okay, let me adjust the orbit. Uh, yes. 
okay let's go it's becoming lesser i think um, wait a minute okay now it's perfect so now i understand how it works so i have to pull the blue line and then pull the green line so it becomes equal okay now auto burn okay now it's in our orbit perfect orbit so let me pass here and then uh, make it straight and open the cargo bay activation group cargo bay and then disable the docking port and rcs enable the rcs and then pull the rocket i mean the uh, ship backwards okay i uh, took it out of the rocket and then set in orbit semi orbit so it's going to land now um, let me enable the R rcs okay now i deploy the parachute i think the parachute will work because in this version i'm i'm getting confused with the parachute system alone i don't know is it going to work or not Okay, it's, in, it's entering the atmosphere. Let me ignite the engines to slow it down. Drop to <coughs> the parachute is not going to work. Let me meet you guys after it is working. So we have landed finally in Mars. Okay, the parachutes fell down. Okay. Solar panels. Let me turn on the solar panels, and let me repack all the parachutes. Repack, repack, repack. Okay. So here is our craft. Let me take one of the tourists from the bottom layer. I mean the bottom um, stage. This is a tourist. Okay, now let me take one of the astronauts <coughs> one of the four astronauts from inside the main uh, stage okay let me tether him and increase the tether and now we can run around without getting lost and even we can fly A minute and trying to make him fly yes so we can fly like this wait is the rocket no it's not coming with him okay now push him down okay, there was a miserable death in the old versions um, it doesn't have that explosions so basically he survives that uh, long jump high jump okay let me tether him to Increase the uh, um, tether length. Now let me try with this. I think I can slow down while he's falling down from that high place. Let me try doing that. Help me! Help me! I'm slowing him down. No, I cannot. No, I cannot. <coughs> okay, this is also a miserable death. So that's it guys, we have landed on Mars with our rocket. So thanks for watching, I will meet you in the next video, take care, bye.